Hi there, Save with Crypto here. Okay, so I did the video the other day about the meta bonding, and uh, yeah, that was it really, wasn't it? Just the meta bonding. Uh, I didn't do one for the farming uh, farm, farming rewards on Friday. Well, I, I thought I did, and then I realised I hadn't recorded it, so um, I haven't got any record of that, but uh, never mind. You can see here I've, what I've got is, uh, you know, a tiny bit of e-gold, some wrapped e-gold. Uh, this mex I'm going to hang on to until that's worth about a thousand dollars, and then I might turn it into something else. I'm not sure really. There's some Zoid Pay there, and you know a bit of Cyber, Hatem, all this kind of thing. What I've been waiting for is the price of e gold to come down a little bit, which it has done kind of today. It's down to about fifty four dollars ten at the moment. So I wanted to swap them odd little bits into e-gold. So that's what I'm going to do now. I mean, just the little bits, really. and Maybe like unwrap that e-gold there, that kind of thing. And what my intention is, is to try and get a little bit more comfortable with Hatton Protocol. So, uh, for example, like here, I might actually just have that reward there. I know it's only 289 but I might have that in Hatton Protocol. And then along with the other bit I've got already I'll turn that all into e-gold and then restake it in this platform because I think I need to get more more comfortable with Hatton Protocol and to add an extra bit of complication you'll remember that the way I staked the e-gold was to turn it into SE gold using ash swap so you can see here that I've got like uh, 0.8831 one e e-gold there so I'm just going to go through the process because I just need, need to get it sort of straight in my head really okay so I'm connected with the exportal app so I want to go from e gold to s e gold now it bounces 0.88 but I'm just going to change 0.8 okay so with that I get 0.773571 e s e gold okay so I think that's that done now then if I go to app.hatton.com and have a look there I should be able to see the SE gold that I've just put there so if I go to liquid staking and then I look at say SE gold and if say I wanted to unstake it I should see it here shouldn't I there you go wallet balance 0.77 S E gold. Okay. So let's see if I can provide that as collateral. Right. Okay. So if I go to state multiverse X there, and that says supply there, and if I click max, that should show it. It does, doesn't it? Okay. So now I should be able to supply that. Okay. So confirm that on X portal. So now I should see the new position being slightly larger and if you compare that with what I had before indeed it is okay that's good now at this point in time I thought I was done and then I came over to liquid staking here okay and I was just curious of what happened if I click this thing here and it says here HS eGold wallet balance 0.77 so that's still there isn't it and HSE gold collateral balance is the 229 HSE gold. So I want that to be in there. So how do I do that? I guess I must go to... Oh, I know. I probably go to the lending protocol again. And then click on that. And then go to collateral. And then add. Oh, hang on. Max, there you go, that's where it is. Right, okay, so, okay, let's do that then. Okay, so now it says uh, transaction completed 0.77. So let's have a look at that thing again now. So let's go to liquid staking. And then click on my position there. Right, okay, that's good, that's what I want, so... 100% in HS eGold collateral balance. Okay, and then if I go here, look at my position there. 
Okay, that's... Is that the same as I had before? Indeed it is. Okay. Now also bear in mind I'm using this HTM booster here where I'm staking Hatom to increase the APY with this percentage boost here. And what I'm trying to achieve at the moment is 20% Hatom compared to the SE Gold. And that's because I want to get this USH airdrop, which you can see here. And then if you click this little symbol here, you can see all the snapshots that have been done since last year. And if they're green, that implies that I'm eligible because the collateral of the Hatom at the moment is 28.82%, which is cool because it's over 20%. I might have made this incredibly complicated for myself, but I just thought I'd show you what I'm doing because I think it's going to be useful to understand Hatton Protocol and be able to use it as a tool. And if you've been watching my videos regularly, you'll see that a couple of weeks ago, I actually used the HSE Gold from here in the launch pad to make me eligible for some lottery tickets for the Tadar launch pad thing that's happening next week. If that all sounds like complete nonsense to you, I understand. It did to me a few weeks ago as well. But anyway, that's what I'm doing. And of course, the other thing you can do with Hatton is I could now, if I wanted, I could borrow $9,334 worth of something. You know, I could borrow e-gold or I could borrow USDT, that kind of thing, which could be useful. So say like next week when I get the opportunity to buy the lottery tickets for the Tadar launch, what happens is, you know, say you're eligible for like 32 tickets, you'll have to supply that amount of e-gold which is like like $32 times 32 which is a lot of money and then when you find out how many lottery tickets you've got you'll be like quite disappointed because it'd be about five so you've got like a load of e-gold that you've put up to get them and then you get it returned back to your wallet now if you didn't have that you could use Hatton and borrow it just to get them lottery tickets just a thought so I suppose the burning question is 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 this all worth it doing this well it seems like at the moment um, I would be getting a 9.84% APY, okay? Um, the alternative would be something like, say, I get the e-gold and stake that with a staking provider on X portal. Now, that's a very simple, straightforward way of doing stuff. But at the moment, the best APYs I can find are about 7.93%. So you're getting more with the Hatton thing. It's just a bit weird um, but it also gives you the possibility to borrow money like what I said so I don't know I think I think although it is massively complicated uh, I think it's the sort of thing that I should get my head around and uh, yeah it will be an endless source of, uh, of of weird videos that I can make about it if you think I'm barking up the wrong tree please let me know in the comments or if you've got any comments anyway or just want to say hello, just leave them down below. While you're down there, do give the video a like. Please do that. And make sure you're subscribed and tick the little notification bell so you get notified of my uh, time-sensitive videos. But above all, tell your friends.